He's a bee follower. <laughs> oh, take it off. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> Look at the sand. <laughs> oh, that's wicked. Sort of mangrovey structure here, as you can see. Um, I want to, and this is a bit of a deeper section too, and I want to get it right up in the mangrove. So I'm just going to change over to the four inch Z Man plastic in a candy color. And I'll be just using the Daiwa Stees with the Veritas rod. What a glamour of a day though. Oh, that's a jack. There's a jack. Come on. Oh, what? It is not that keen for it. You come floating out for it too. Yep, Jack. Oh, <laughs> there's another one after it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, yes, that's awesome. That's so good that I could just sit there and just watch that from up there. <laughs> Oh, that is the best feeling. And there's another big one. <laughs> right up his tail too. I'll turn the mink coder off. Oh, he's excited. Come on. Cut it out. There you go. <laughs> Only small, but... <laughs> Man, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, loot him chomping away. All right, little buddy. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> that was a big finger mark. Oh, no. Big finger mark. Oh, that was a huge finger mark. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that thing was big. All right, I'm going to chuck on a Halco Sly Dog. We're going to go to the mouth. We're going to see if we can get something on surface. <laughs> Started off the day. Um, it was a beautiful day. Let me just say that, it was a beautiful day. I haven't been out for about three weeks now fishing and this is the first day I've had off pretty much that I'm clear not to do anything and I don't have anything to do. Um, Chanel and I have just built a home and we've had heaps to do the last couple of weeks, obviously, uh, moving and fencing and all the rest. Anyway, I got out on the boat, so excited, so bloody excited and put the mink coder on and went to go turn it. Sure enough, something had to go wrong. It uh, wouldn't turn, wouldn't even make any noise uh, to turn. Um, the only thing it could do was drive. 
Um, so pretty much what I've been doing is I've been sitting up on this top, I call it the top deck, <laughs> I don't know why, but <laughs> I've been standing up there and grabbing onto the head and moving it around um, and using it that way. So I sort of salvaged the day. Um, it's gonna be a long day. It started at midday, worked our way onto, it's roughly 3.30 now. I'm about to head home. Caught a couple fish today. I do have some old footage uh, three weeks ago. Obviously, I went out fishing, but I didn't have time to edit the video. It was sort of like a soft plastic versus hard body, sort of. Um, in the morning, I used the four inch Z Man, as you'll see. Um, and then in the afternoon, I used the hard body, the Berkeley Pro Tech. Uh, whereas I think I got it here somewhere. That's the one there. So I was using that. Uh, that's the 80 mil suspending red shad. So I used that in the afternoon and flicked the same, exact same stretches I did with the Z-Man, just sort of like a tester to see how it goes. Obviously it's not super accurate because you're flicking a different part of the day. Um, but you know, it, it was about two or three hours apart. Um, so it wasn't really that much of a difference. Um, but yeah, it was a good tester to see how it goes. I don't usually use hard bodies. Uh, this one's a 2.5 meter to three meter suspending. Um, all the banks weren't prioritized for, you know, they weren't good for one and not good for the other. They were good for both. So it was a good tester there. I'll roll on them clips now. Jack, little Jack. Yo. What is that? <laughs> That's Ashra <Asher> Valley. <laughs> uh, Ultra Valley. Holy, he has inhaled that. Oh no. Hit. That was a hit. Oh, that was a hit. That was fish on. Oh, that was a hit again. Oh, that's a hit. What the hell is it? Something's grabbing it. Must be a cod. Cods actually eat it though. I don't know. Oh, a little finger mark. Oh no, what's that, a Moses perch? I think that's a Moses perch. There you go. That's probably what's hitting the, hitting the lure. Oh, shit, sorry, little buddy. Yep. I think it's cod. Yep. Cod. It's a gold spot cod, this one. There you go, little buddy. Yep. Ah, oh, little cod, I think. Oh, finger mark. <laughs> hey! Yes! Finger mark. That's the right species. Just needed it to be a little bit bigger. Let's see if there's a couple more down there. Oh, 
flooded. <laughs> oh. Little flatty dog. Extra cod, go. So I've come back to the same stretch of river that I was flicking before with a prawn. And now I got a Berkeley ProTech uh, suspending lure. Uh, that's it there, 80 mil in the red shad color, uh, mainly for the jacks. So I'm going to give this a go. It's uh, how far does it dive? Depth 2.5 meters to 3 meters. So it should be perfect for this and it's suspending. So let's give it a crack. Gonna be a bit cautious. Trebles are going to get caught up everywhere. That is the problem with using hard bodies. <laughs> you do a lot of this stuff. <laughs> Oh shit. It's not particularly good for the Minn Kota either. <laughs> it's bashing into snags and mud banks and whatnot. So, but I wanted to give the hard body a go today. Oh yep. Oh bloody barracuda. <laughs> I didn't even feel it hit, must have hit it on the paws. Oh shit, that's dangerous, that's not what you want. Barracuda loose in your boat. Oh, something had a go at it, look at that. Got like teeth marks on the side. Oh, we? Bye bye. Oh, bloody caught out here. <laughs> that, was, that was a cod just here. Holy shit. I don't know if he has fallen of ages or what. That's wild. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ah, oh, you... Get off. Come on. Oh, of course you'd get off. Right. Ooh. There you go. This is heavy. I think it's a big trev, eh? Oh, this is bloody heavy as. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>, big god. <laughs> Holy, he's a big cod. <laughs> he's barely hooked too. We better net him. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the bigger bloody um, black spot cods I've caught. Holy, what a beast. Man, yeah, it's big. He is big. If he spits up a crab, it's going to be bloody legal crab, that's for sure. Wait, wait up, wait up. Come here. Oh shit. Fasty. Man. <laughs> he got me in the sticks too, I could feel him rubbing. 
check, <laughs> check that guy out. Oh, I don't usually like catching uh, cod. Uh, they're quite, quite boring. <laughs> not, not that good of a flight, uh, especially when they're smaller. But this guy, he, uh, he fought hard and he felt heavy. He's the black spot cod, I'm pretty sure. Um, he looks a bit different to the uh, smaller ones I usually catch, but I'm guessing that's just because he is a bigger size. They must change colors. Um, if you guys know if it's a different cod or whatnot, leave a comment down below. Um, I'm not too sure. Pretty sure he's a black spot cod, but yeah, what a beast. On the Berkeley Pro Tech as well, uh, on the hard body, so that's awesome. Check that guy out, what a beast. But I'll uh, get a measure on him as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, he's fussy. What's he pushing? right on there 56 what a w absolute weapon i'll oh, check the mouth on that my goodness <laughs> i'll put him back oh he's ready to go oh, he's off <laughs> so i didn't explain to you what i'm doing here there's actually an underwater snag down deep here and that's where he must have come out of and hit right out here it's hoping for a jack but i'll take that i'll take that yep <laughs> you bloody thing i think i just caught your dad before or your mum oh this is gold spot cod actually i don't like doing this with trebles viewers at home are probably <laughs> freaking out <laughs> usually try not to get travels out like that like I was about to do because you're gonna get one in the hand that's not pretty 